little panic. So today I'm going to be doing how to do a bat's nest sort of hair tutorial. I will insert some photos. Um, this hairstyle was very popular in the 80s and it's a hairstyle that I do pretty much all the time myself. I did do a little kind of TikTok video of how to do it but I want to do a more in depth one today. So the first thing that I'm going to do is actually take these hair clips that I've got in my hair somewhere. I honestly don't know where they are. I did it when I was doing my makeup to um, help like keep my makeup back. So yeah, I'm just going to take these hair clips out and the one on the other side. And I'm pretty much just going straight into this video. I'll explain as I go along. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is brush out your hair. I have kind of vampire bangs. I cut them recently. Um, which I actually think look really cute. So comment down below if you like them. Because I did have like a five minute panic where I'm like, oh my god, my forehead looks huge now. But they are growing on me. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush up my hair. Because I want to make sure you have like just a nice base to your hair. Pretty much with any hairstyles just brush it out and then what i'm going to do because this is quite like heavy on your hair um and it can make it really dry my hair is quite dry at the moment i'm going to use um some coconut spray which is like leave-in conditioner you can use any leave-in conditioner oils you have although it is optional it just keeps your hair like a little bit healthier when you take it out i'm going to apply a fair amount of that in and that's already making my hair a little bit nicer. So yeah, and then I'm gonna brush that through. I think I put a little bit too much, but it's fine, we move. So yeah, now I have my hair like nice and healthy-ish, I suppose. We're now gonna ruin it. So the thing that you're gonna need for um, this is a normal hairbrush or like, any sort of hairbrush like that and a back combing slash teasing brush and then you're also going to need hairspray this is the one I use I find this is the best for doing hair like that is the got to be glued blasting free spray for screaming holes and yeah this is the best hairspray that I've found on the market for doing stuff like this so the first thing that you're going to do is start off with the bangs so I'm just going to brush them out um, making sure that they're like really flat to my head if that makes sense and get it into like the shape that I want obviously I have like the such like vampire bangs you know there's lots of different names to them um, so I take a little bit longer to get them into the kind of place that I want um, also if you don't have bangs then obviously you don't have to worry about this step you can skip forwards I'll put at the bottom like the time scales you can just skip to when we start to do the bit that's best for you so now with the hairspray i'm closing my eyes like i'm just going to kind of cover i spray on my bangs and then i use like the back of the brush to kind of like flatten them down um oh god and that is just going to keep my bangs nice and flat and like stop them moving around during the day if that makes sense and I feel like having the flat bangs it adds more drama to the back like it's more dramatic because these are so flat and then the back is going to be like so yeah now we're going to go on to the back so hello if you are back from skipping the bangs part so yeah now I'm going to use this um teasing back combing brush I got this from Superdrug I think it's about three pounds and it's really really good let me just rip all my old hair out of that sorry that's kind of disgusting um so yeah these are really really good but you can use a normal comb or you can use a hairbrush if you don't have it but i would recommend um getting one of these so what i'm doing is i'm just going to brush out and i start from the top so like kind of marking out where you want to go you don't have to do this you can kind of rough it if you want but if you want it to be precise just mark out like where your fringe is ending and you can see like where it starts so yeah at the very top i'm just going to brush that out and then get all the rest of my hair out of the way and what i'm doing is i'm starting at the very top and like tweaking my hair so doing this motion it's like upwards like back combing so yeah just start like kind of going upwards and i'm gonna bring that down the hair as you go along until you have nothing left and then you can kind of go over that you can go at the front you can go at the back you can kind of like 
Just do it until it looks like a big sort of mat of hair. And then I'm just going to do this little chunk at the front as well and brush that kind of into it. So yeah, as you see, I'm just kind of dragging the brush towards my head. And now I'm going to do the next section. I'm going to brush that all out the way and just start back probing into all of the hair is like gone out of my hand and you can kind of like blend it in the two like each section so if you see a little bit that looks like undone like here for example maybe you can just tweak that in now I'm going to do the next section I'm going to brush that out of the way and just once again tease that until there's nothing left of it so yeah now I'm going to do the bottom with the bottom this is the first bit that kind of like goes a bit weird so you're going to want to make sure that you put quite a lot of volume into it or it's going to look kind of a bit stringy at the bottom um, and make sure you're getting the back bit as well so like kind of grab your hair bring the brush behind and like brush it up from the back so now what I do once that's all done is I get my hands and I kind of like press it to make sure that I have it all kind of like in a big bulk and now what I'm going to do is anything that's looking like it's beginning to drop especially the ends I'm just going to back comb into looking the way that I want although I'm actually pretty happy with how this is turning out already to be fair okay sorry my um, memory card got full so yeah now what I'm doing is I'm going to place my, my hands behind it and then like spray onto my hands, that was probably a little bit close and then kind of like use my fingers to just keep it up as I'm spraying it so yeah you're going to want quite a lot of hairspray, you're going to want it to be nice and crispy or it's not going to stay um, so yeah once you've done that you can use the brush and kind of like tweak it if any bits have got affected by the hairspray but I'm feeling like that's looking fine and now we're going to repeat the exact same process on the other side so um, make sure your bangs are nice in place and then just start off with my first section of hair here and I'm going to brush up towards my head like so until there's like nothing left then get another little section and brush that up again another little section so yeah just keep teasing the hell out of your hair pretty much until you're like looking happy with the top bit and now I'm just gonna go on to like the middle section and tease that then the last little bit. I'm gonna make sure that I've got all of it, so I'm just gonna untuck my hair. See, like now I've got a really straight bit, so it's important to make sure that you're doing the back or it's gonna look really dark from behind. I feel like that's actually matching the other side really well, so I'm gonna hairspray that now. So, once again, putting my hand kind of behind, closing my eyes, and spraying probably too close to my face I'm probably gonna like gas myself out a little bit but we move so yeah I now I have sprayed like the back and the front I'm gonna go on all over stretch all over my hair and it's nice and crispy yeah that is how to do a bat's nest um, hairstyle inspired by the 80s I really hope you enjoyed this video if you're interested on the makeup look I also did a tutorial for that it will be probably the video before this Thank you guys so so much for watching yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you guys very very soon with something new don't forget to subscribe